Discovery Center in West Yellowstone. This place is awesome. And look at that bear over there. West Yellowstone is about an hour's drive from Big Sky and it costs That's 13 it. bucks to get in here. If you're in the area traveling towards Yellowstone, definitely make a stop. <laughs> I'm gonna get Joey a pet wolf for Christmas. Meow! Meow! All the garbage containers that they give to the bears, they last long enough that it's certified bear resistant. Very friendly trash cans. Very friendly. <laughs> and it looks like not a bunch of them survived the bear test. Yeah. They're pretty beaten. Eek! Nobody will get us a pet wolf. Oh! We're in the museum. Shh, be quiet. <laughs> How you doing? Kids hid their food around this property. And now we're gonna watch to see the bears eat it all. And the crows are trying to get it all. Wow. Feasting away. We here at the Quake Lake. <laughs> and where are we? Quake Lake. Some part of Montana. <laughs> Between Ennis and West Yellowstone. On August 17th, 1959, there was a big earthquake which caused part of the Madison River to become dammed off. So it just formed this huge lake. Big landslide blocked the whole thing in. A bunch of houses went under. And there's apparently a car somewhere out there in the middle of the lake. I've never seen anything like this before. There was a campground right over here, which got completely washed out by the dam. 19 people died. Pretty eerie. Wow, it's like the whole mountainside just fell off. And it happened at 11.37 at night, apparently. So people were in the dark, which made it even worse. 